guys, Cash Brown back again. Hope you're having a fantastic day or night, depending on where in the world you are. So I haven't made a video in probably well over a week now, I think. Um, and I don't know if you can still hear it, but I have been very, very unwell. Um, nothing too serious, but I've definitely felt like absolute crap. Um, I have attempted to make a couple of videos, but usually I will either start to make a video, get a bit too unwell and have to go lay down, or I will make the whole video, go back to edit it, um, and then I'm just too nasal. Like, it, I tried a couple of times, I'm like, no, I'm just scrapping these videos, but we are back today. I've missed making videos so much. I've missed you guys. You guys never cease to amaze me with how amazing you guys have been with the videos I've uploaded recently. Well, the support has been absolutely overwhelming. I can't thank you enough. So I do want to come back and make a video. I don't want to let you guys down. Um, I'm feeling pretty much better, still not 100%, but well enough to make a video, I think. So let's see how we go. So today we are going to be talking about a, a woke TV show, cartoon, thing. The first season dropped on Netflix, um, 2nd of September, I think, back in 2021. I had never heard of it up until literally today. Um, and apparently from the minute this show dropped, like this is the only show or the only event or the only thing ever that both left and right have hated. Um, I haven't seen the trailer. I haven't seen much about it. I, it's more been kind of stuff that I've read. Every character is part of the LGBT system. Um, and yeah, it's even pissed off the left. It's offensive to people like you and I because I think a lot of you would agree that we are sick to death of leftist propaganda being shoved down our throat. I can't tell you the amount of TV shows that I've really enjoyed watching. Then all of a sudden they inject some wokest bullshit into it. Um, and then I can't watch that show anymore because I just don't support that kind of thing. I don't support that forced agenda. I don't like it, not a fan. So yeah, people on the right don't like it because of that. People on the left don't like it because apparently it is full of stereotypes. It's quite offensive. So this might be one of the few things that we can all agree on. Apparently this is trash. It had a rating of, I think, 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's got a score of 29% with the average audience score of 78%. So the average audience score is obviously a little bit better, um, but that's still pretty bad um, for Rotten Tomatoes. Before we watch this rather short trailer, can I ask that if you're not subscribed yet, please consider supporting the channel. By subscribing to the channel, your support means the absolute world to me. Otherwise, let's watch the Q-Force official trailer. Everyone, go, go, go! the best of the best. Our 2011 valedictorian, Agent Steve Merriweather. Now, don't ask, don't tell was repealed. I can stand before you as my true self. A gay man! There was a mistake. We just uh, recrunched the numbers and actually, uh, Agent Buck, who happens to be straight, but oh that's God. not what's going Shut on. Up. It's legit. I respect your decision. At the very least, I hope this little incident won't affect my posting. I have the perfect assignment for you. Where? Moscow? Beijing? Got it. They're passing us by. It's time to do something about it. We need to work a real case already. You know I love you, but I can't make any promises. We go rogue! This team is ready. You were so cool five seconds ago. You all uncovered an illegal nuclear arms deal with the tie to the federal government? Never been prouder. Let's do this. If you mess with us, there will be repercussions. I built a search algorithm more powerful than Google and only slightly less evil. Wow. You'll slay going undercover. I'm here to absolutely save the day. Thank God for you, drag queen. Thank God for every drag queen. But not actually, obviously. I'm the head of Q-Force. You gonna cry? No, the only thing that makes me cry is that one Rita Wilson scene in Sleepless in Seattle where she... Wait. Everyone look at the back of the plane! The thing about being queer is the fact... Yeah, pride, chosen family, we get it! The bombs, bitch! Oh, what the... 
What's going on? I'm saving your life! No, you're touching my sack. Good job, Q-Force. Sorry, that's what everybody calls you, Q for queer. I'll make them stop. I actually kind of like it. Okay, um... So, I'm not gonna lie, that was worse than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like it's not even only clearly LGBT propaganda being shoved down our throats. Everything is drag queen, queer, I'm so gay. Like, it's not even just that. I personally feel like that just looked boring and kind of uninteresting. It, it's not a show that I would watch, just based off that two minutes and 23 seconds. Um, it's not a show that I would watch even if there wasn't like leftist propaganda being shoved down my throat. That looked atrocious in every way conceivable. Um, I'm very happy that season two will not be a thing. I, I kind of, I don't know, I, a part of me, before I started recording the video, because I knew I was making a video on this, obviously, um, a part of me wanted to watch like the first episode or something, but I, I'm somebody who, I don't want to contribute to making these companies big. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I feel like that two minutes was more than enough. Um, I'm glad that it's been cancelled. Um, we all know the saying, go work, go broke. And we're seeing that more and more, time and time again. Netflix seems to really be cracking down on it. Um, and that is largely because Netflix is just hemorrhaging subscribers. I feel like they're kind of scurrying to like backtrack from all the wokest bullshit that they were pushing for a really long time. And they still kind of are. When I go on my Netflix, because I do have Netflix still, I did cancel my subscription and then I buckled because it was something I wanted to watch and I am planning on canceling it again. But whenever I go on my Netflix, there's like a section that's just LGBT um, movies and TV shows. And it just, I, I don't know, I, I'm not here for that. I think it's a big part of why Netflix is suffering. And I think because Netflix is suffering, that's why we're seeing a lot of these just leftist insane TV shows and movies, they're finally being scrapped, which I think is fantastic. Like I've said on my channel a bunch of times, I try to look at things from both points of view, right? It's totally okay for LGBT stuff to constantly, constantly, no matter what you're watching, it seems that LGBT stuff is popping up and being absolutely crammed down my throat. But imagine if it was the other way around and it was like a show all about how great it is to be straight how great it is to be a cis white male. You've got these shows that are 100% leftist propaganda rubbish being jammed down our throat. Imagine if it was right propaganda being shoved down people's throats. People would lose their shit. Everyone in the world would be a transphobe. Everyone in the world would be a racist. Um, and people would lose it, but it's totally okay for this kind of nonsense to be crammed down our throats. It frustrates me. There is a clear double standard as there always is with the left, but we're, we're, we have a bit of a win that's been cancelled um, and I'm glad that I'm never going to have to watch it because it looks truly, truly terrible. Anyway, you guys, let me know in the comments down below if you've seen any of this show because I'm very interested to know. Um, let me know what you think about this. I will be back maybe later today with another video depending on how I feel, but I feel okay, so it's very likely. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you with all my heart, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.